Let's use SpeedyCal to calibrate an SRM power meter. I'll start by adding a new bike. First I press the bike plus icon in the upper right. Enter the name you'll use for the bike and its crank length. Go ahead and take a picture. Maybe of the bike, of the SRM, something else doesn't really matter. Then click the AMP Plus checkbox if your Android device supports AMP Plus natively or with the dongle. Make sure the SRM is active so it can be selected via the AMP Plus plugin service. Then click Add Bike and we'll proceed with calibration. Select the bike from the list on the left. You'll see the data you entered. Let's go ahead and start calibration. The calibration screen reminds us to spin the cranks so SpeedyCal can find the SRM. Once SpeedyCal finds the SRM, it reports the meter's value and the current slope. For this example, I'll use 20 kilograms for this calibration. Note the capture buttons. These copy the meter value to the corresponding field. Here is a little more detail in performing the calibration. Set the right crank arm to a horizontal position to find the zero right reading. Capture it. Then add your mass to the crank arm. Again, set the crank arm to horizontal and capture the reading. With all values entered, a slope is calculated. The calculated slope is compared against the device's current slope. In this example, the error is within spec. So I'll add a note that I verified the previous calibration. With no need to transmit the slope back to the SRM, I hit the store button. Now let's check the calibration history. Pull up the calibration that we just did. I'll use this as a starting point for another calibration. I can transmit this to the SRM via the transmit and store button. Back to the calibration history, the lightning bolt icon shows a transmitted calibration. Thanks for using SpeedyCal. I expect you'll find SpeedyCal a quick and easy way to calibrate an SRM on your Android device.